Okay, guys, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me, but... Uh... <laughs> It looks like I can't rescue my save. Um, I did some research on how to save the game. Um, yeah. I don't, honestly, I don't know what to say. I really don't. Uh, this is just so ridiculous. I, I did research on how to save. It said I had to make backups of a specific folder, and I did. And now... Um, because I, I made, I made a new game, I, I made a new channel and I was just posting like three or four videos on it. One of like TCG, one of this game. And now it's like, you know, yeah, I don't know what to say, bro. Like, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, this is just ridiculous. Um, Okay, so we have the training uh, training DLC back. So I, I said I'm going to only play if the training DLC comes back, and it is now. The problem is, though, I lost my save completely. And uh, the only way to get that back, well, is to play all the way back there. So I don't really care too much. Like, I enjoy this game enough to, like, restart. Uh, for me, that's not too bad. It's okay. Um, so we can just close it like that for now. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sad about what happened, to be honest, but nevertheless, we, we, if we're going to play the game, then we'll play the game. So <clears throat> what we're going to do right now is we're going to buy a counter, uh, because if we want to hire people, you can see your management hiring, I need to check out 20, uh, uh, 20 more people and we need to reach level 10. So we'll do that. Uh, we reach, uh, 20 more people. So... We'll go into furniture and we'll buy a checkout machine. And uh, we'll just open for the day. Wait. So we'll just open. And uh, we'll just restart the game. Like, uh, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> This is my last time ever I'm gonna do restart the game. Like, if it, if it fucks up again because they don't know how to do, um, you know, their stuff, then, yeah, then this is the last time. Uh, 5.7 should be good. So, we just have to check out 20 people. Hopefully all 20 of them has exact change. And then we're going to start hiring our first employee, which is going to be a cashier. Um, and like I said before, I wanted to restart with this uh, with this mod. Because I think you can have like insane people that are working for you. So I'm actually not, you know, that sad about it. Like, obviously I am, but um, what are you going to do, bro? It's all okay. We'll, we'll be fine, dude. We'll, we'll manage. We'll survive. We'll make the best of a bad situation. Um, with mods, we're going to just make it, like, really, really fast. You know, get, uh, get all of this done. 23.95. So, I bought a self-checkout, but for now, it's not going to be used. I wanted to show people like how to get the best start in the game. Uh, but yeah, little that I know, it's gonna ruin my whole 
my whole career. It's okay at all. Um, we'll make this work, guys. Like, I'm honestly not that smashed about it. It's just awesome that we're gonna have a cashier that's gonna be, like, insane later. And uh, I think uh, we'll be able to survive with one cashier that has, like, the experience later. Not even to mention, we might even be able to get away with one um, uh, stock taker as well. 35.25. I mean, I literally just finished another game, uh, the, the gym simulator. Oh, dude, we're running low on... And some of these things, dude. And also saw like really cool mods that we can actually get on this game right now. Uh, adding products that you can just like buy and, and sell also. Um, and it really, it really is cool though. We can set the prices from your PC. It's pretty cool. Mods is making this game for sure. Yeah, we need to get everything but... Yeah, we need that also. Everything except for uh, cereal. Oopsie, I'm typing it in. Eleven forty five, uh, twenty four dot sixty five. Goodness, bro. But yeah, no views on that videos that I made uh, on the other channels, so we're restarting pretty much for free. Like I said, I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not very happy, but I'm also not completely sad about it either. I honestly think if you have a like cashier from the get go uh, with this training, uh, you know, training mod, uh, you might actually end up only using one uh, employee. Um, even though their wage will be like, you know, equivalent of three employees, uh, that's fine to me. People still coming in. How many more do I need to serve? Uh, we served enough.
So we're gonna add everything again. People are still coming in. Is that a glitch? Add everything except for bread. We're not gonna buy it. So we'll end the day here. We need to reach level 10 to, to get our first employee. Okay, it boarded now. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we can't afford the next license yet. Not yet. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to do pricing. I should just add this mod again. Okay, mod is downloaded. Uh, we should just open shop. Um, now it will automatically price for us. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. We need uh, loads of pasta, bro. It's probably going to have to buy again. You know, it might be better for us to get both employees as fast as we can instead of getting another product license. So we'll add pasta, sugar, and flour. Okay, my prices is updated perfectly. Yeah, bro. Pretty good stuff. So let's see here. We need level we need level 10 for the first employee. Uh, let's see, let's see, management. Level 10 for the first employee, and the restocker, we need a storage uh, with at least one rack. So, our highest priority then is to buy the storage. How much is it? <laughs> management, storage. $800, okay. So, we'll, we'll buy that. Let's maybe take out a loan. Bank, we'll take out a loan. We'll buy the storage. Okay, buy the storage. And we get our first employee right now. So furniture, we buy the toll rack. Uh, we buy the toll rack. And my scroll button is still broken. I'm going tomorrow to buy a mouse. And then we'll hire our first employee. Requires level 15. Oh my god. This game is punishing me now, dude.
we're getting punished. But it's okay, bro. <laughs> it's not okay, but it's okay. Oh, man. Oh, dude. I was just thinking, like, it's, it's this channel, dude. Like, I, I think my content is good enough. Why am I just not getting, like, we're getting zero views. Like, how is it even possible? Like, I, I think YouTube is just promoting me to the wrong audience or something. Um, let's buck this up also. No. Well, we're getting level 9. So we're getting close to our first employee. So, no, no more boxes inside here, yeah? Okay. What? Fine. Uh, 30, 32.5. What? I'm tight. Dude. What the heck is happened? Uh, okay, let's box it up because I don't know what just happened there. Okay, we need to buy every product again. Really, sir, you could have helped there, but you didn't. Come on, I want to move this thing. I'll move it in the morning. I thought I bought every product. It's impossible that we did. So we buy everything again, including oil. Looks like it. Are we going to reach level 10 in no time? So it's not a big deal. And I'm not going to buy right now. It's maybe even past 9 p.m. Oh, it's not. Yeah, that's what happened. That makes sense. I forgot I have that mod enabled. And we're going to keep it enabled. Uh... But only once we have a worker. But for now we're paying money that we don't really... ...have to spend. Uh, we also have another mod we can actually try out. Um, it's for your um, racker to be helping them instead of you. But we're not going to use... Yeah, we're not going to use uh, the self-checkout, right? Um, we're going to have a, a cashier behind the counter that's going to be zooming through everyone's stuff. Man, it really sucks that I'm starting over. <laughs> oh, it's painful. This is the last, the last time, dude. The last time. This is my third time restarting the game. I have too many games to play that, you know, restarting is not an option. Please don't hate me for it, guys. Like, we'll... Obviously, we have a lot of knowledge now. Uh, we have a lot of cool mods and stuff, so... We'll just uh, make it work, you know what I'm saying? I, I just can't imagine the employees we have once... Once we have them from the start, what, like what level they'll be, like how fast they'll be. And I, I'm, I'm excited for that also, okay. Okay, pasta went up, but it auto updates, so... Uh, we can just open immediately. Oh, 
can't believe someone made a guide on how to save your game and then it just doesn't work. Fucking gets to me, bro. Why does it? Why? Why do we only have one save anyway? Like, what if I want to like try different stuff, dude? What then? Uh, well, tough luck for you, bro. Uh, we should pay off our loan. We took out a loan to get an employee, but <laughs> we can't get him until level 15. <laughs> I need my rack boy, bro. But I feel like cashier is a little bit more important anyway. I also don't know why they haven't done this. Like, this mod is so good that I, I'm pretty sure if they build it into the game... I, I, dude... No one will use self-checkout. Like, I'm, I'm just saying that. This guy becomes worth the money spent. He's not as slow as this shit. And uh, he's pretty good. You know? The reason why people use self-checkout is because of how bad cashiers are. Like, they are next level terrible, dude. Next level terrible. So, yeah, that's why everyone just rushes to self-cash out. And you can nerf it, it just doesn't matter. Like, it's still better to deal with than a slow cashier that you pay every day. No, I, I'll make mine I'll make mine faster as he levels up, getting his own experience. I'm never gonna buy experience ever again, that's for sure. Um, that's That's a hard lesson we learned. I keep forgetting to move this junk, but it's okay. Um, why do I have six products? Okay, double flower. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, dude. Hmm. Now that I think of this, what do we have here? Let's put oil here. Just so that Rack Boy will have an idea. Bro, I recently also played another game called uh, Internet Cafe Supermarket Man uh, Su Supermarket Simulator. It's a uh, it's a game that just like is super eye opening, dude. I think the box might be in our way. She's glitched. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she just thought long and hard whether she wanted or not. Okay, we got six products here, right? But imagine my workers got saved from the mod. Maybe, maybe that's the only thing we saved. Yeah, the checkout is full because... That's why they're standing here. Okay, that makes sense. It's very bad for us though. Okay, there we go. How do they even want you to upgrade? Oopsie, I bought double pasta, but I'm okay with it. How do they want you to upgrade your store? Oopsie. Uh, if you it, like, if your stuff is just keep getting sold out, like, I don't know if they made an update with this where you all of a sudden early game just have like really a lot of clients, or maybe if you have. Yeah, it could work like that, actually, now that I think of it. If you have the storage purchased, that clients is just flooding in. Because, like, yeah, we're making a killing, but, like, you know, I, I can't afford a product license. 
Because I need to keep restocking. Look at that Q, bro. We're almost level 10, dude. Almost level 10. We're finally gonna have some workers. Okay, so flour. We buy flour, pasta, and cereal. You know, there is a mod also that you can... Uh, I'm not going to use it. But uh, make the levelment requirement different for your workers. I kind of feel like I want to just do that, you know? Get that cashier out here. But I mean, like, we're so close, dude. We should be maybe level 10 with all these people after they're all done. Okay, now it's 9 p.m. And we're going to use this whole place. I should actually move the PC also. Since we're not going to use it for a while, yeah, we will get. We'll build. We'll be level ten, dude. We'll, we will be level ten for sure. More people still coming in. There's also a fast forward mod that could be very interesting to 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 use right now. Level 10, baby. We got it off to this guy. Nice. So I'll be the restocker guy for a while still. Dude, she has so much muscles. Holy shit. Bro, I think her tits must be so hard. But if you squeeze it, you might bring a break a finger. But don't worry, she's making me hard as well. So you know, you know what I'm saying. What the heck? That's why we're a small channel, bro. Like if you were wondering. Okay, let's end the day here. Let's get our cashier in, and let's hope that we see a level above its head. Oh, dude, level one, but okay. Got to start somewhere, buddy. Uh, let's just move this against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, money. And so it begins. So we restarted everything, including the mod level. Everything. Oh, open it, dude. Show me that XP. Oh. Oh, gypsy. And so it begins. The journey of this guy. He's going to go really far in life. And he's going to become God checkout guy. Okay. He's going to do the equivalence of, uh, of, uh, of 10, 20, 20 cashiers, this guy alone eventually 
After seven years of training. I don't understand how we have so many customers. We only have one product license, dude. It's level based, right? It has to be level based. But whatever, man. We should be making bank. Even though it doesn't feel like it. And flower. And oil. And oil. Oops. Moving my bread around here. We need product license 3 to use the tablet, but we most probably won't. Hey, congrats on level 2, buddy. Such a long journey to go. There's, by the way, a big fat chance that I'll never update the game again. There is a big fat chance for that. We'll finish the game as is. On this patch. That is, if I can stop the patch from happening. Um... We'll be using these mods uh, all the way till the end. We do have an automatic purchaser as well, but that is only with your rack boy if he takes the last product uh, from the shelf. Uh, then it will automatically buy an item. Boy, that's an empty box. So I'll just buy everything again. So rack boy level 15. He's level 3. Let's go. Let's go. Let's check out his full. Yeah, I gotta wait, man. He's gonna level up first. But once he's leveled up, you're gonna be running. He's gonna be running through you guys, okay? It's his first day, bro. What do you expect? Goodness women these days, bro. Uh, nothing is good enough anymore. Do you agree, bro? Watch, is again gonna be the woman complaining. It is full. It's full. Okay, so we need pasta and cereal. And flour. Uh, pasta, cereal, and flour. Bro, 
Bro is getting to level 4. It's coming, dude. So yeah, uh, in the previous update, level 17 was where it was as fast as self-checkout, by the way. And the only way to get to level 17 is buying a level up, which happens at level, like every ninth level, if I'm not mistaken. So it's 9, 19, 29, I think, if I remember correctly. And then every time you buy that, you pay a, a hefty fee, so like $500 or something. Um, for level 9. It, it goes up a lot later. Um, you can see already like how fast he is. It's pretty good. Um, but uh, you can also go up to level... Uh, the next 10 levels. So... And you increase his wage as well. So if he's getting $100 a day, he will be then be getting 110 or 120 or something. So his wage increase, he's more useful, and you pay like a fee for it. That's what I. That's why I say this is like, it's a pretty cool mod. It just, I, I don't know if you'd restart it every time there's an update. That's what I'm saying. This might be the last update we do until we're done with the game. I think we'll see though. So everyone's happy. Our balance increased quite a bit. Um, we have nine hundred dollars. How much is a rack? The shelf is 200. I think we'll we'll do one more day. We'll do one more day and then we'll get the next product license. The experience goes up very slowly actually. Um So, pasta, bread. We can also buy oil. So, pasta, bread, oil. Pasta, bread, oil. I might actually install the fast forward mod, to be honest. Just to catch up where we were. I don't know. Now we'll just play the game as is, man. With a few mods. Auto light mod, auto price mod. Uh, with a level mod for employees. Uh, and I said I'm going to stop playing until this works again, so it, it's working again, so I'm going to play. Um, and then we also use uh, auto buy mod for if your, uh, if your racker takes the last product from the shelf, uh, it will automatically uh, buy the item again. And they will automatically rack it as well, if there's a racking spot. It will get racked. So we'll add oil. Add oil. Oil and flour. What? Oil is already there. So just flour then. He's level 5 now. Dude. We're getting so many clients. Add sugar. add everything cereal and sugar
We need pasta again, dude. Pasta and flour seems to be selling out the most by far. I need bread also. Yeah, we're at a point where we should double buy instead. Almost level 11. So four more levels and then we get our racker. And for that to work, we need more furniture though. We need another rack in here. Maybe even, even more. Because we need to double buy every product. Unless we, unless we make our shelves better. Then we can single buy. Hmm. Okay, let's make our shelves better. No, no, we still have to double buy. Especially like oil. Uh, sugar single buy should be enough. Do I have that mod still? I do, okay. That uh, The red thing makes it that your racker won't uh, use that shelf then. Whatever you set it to. So we'll leave the box here, because we're gonna... We're gonna update everything. I don't know, pasta is flying way too fast off the shelves, dude. We have to double buy. Right, we have to double buy. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll check. We'll 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 check if products run out. Once we have a racker boy. be so much more work if I do it the other way. Dude, I should just keep my method as is, honestly. Maybe not with oil. What is the next product license? Oh, it's milk and eggs. Those are freezer stuff. Bottled water, cheese, yeah. So it doesn't really matter if I do it th like this. Okay, we can end this day. Um, okay, let's buy the next product license. Let's do it.
products. So we have nothing outside, right? Nope. Okay, perfect. So let's see. Your bottled water is in a fridge. Cheese. Coffee and tea is outside. And the eggs and milk. Okay, we're going to buy this first. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we need uh, a double shelf and we need... I think it's two fridges, man. We'll buy one fridge and double check. Just move this to here for now. Uh, okay. Bottle water. We'll just double buy, bro. Like, it makes sense. So, eggs, eggs, and milk, yeah. So, we need another fridge. Dude, we just had enough money. Wow. Come on, rotate. Stupid scroll button. We're out of everything, dude. Like, out of everything. I don't know what to buy first. Pasta, flour. Might actually want to take out a loan to get to to restock. Okay, we have 12 water, we have 6 coffee. gonna cost us so much money just to restock everything.
Level 7 though. He's starting to become fast. Coffee is 11. And then milk. So just, just these two will be fine for now. And then cheese. What? How busy is our shop, bro? I mean, I'm not complaining, it's just... I don't know if they made an update where it's just like infinite clients. But that's how it feels like. This guy's soon we're not gonna have a queue. <laughs> because our checkout's gonna be so fast. So at least this is a nice update. The fact that I could see how much we have in stock, but the total number. Doesn't really help too much though, because it should show you how much you have in boxes. So anything under 20 we buy. Level 8, bro. And it's still slow. He's gonna get a wage increase before we even get to our first restocker. That's crazy. Level 11 only now. Are you winning, son? So he's almost double the speed already of uh, self checkout, which is insane.
So he's for sure to level 9 tomorrow. Well, I mean... We can just keep him at level 9. If we wanted to, if the speed is fine. We'll end the day here. And we'll instantly open. You see, oil and uh, and tea could actually be on one shelf. Because it takes so much out of the box. We're open, yeah? I mean, I'm buying everything under 20, and you can see this is still 20. Even though it looks so empty. So we can maybe put tea and oil on the same shelf. And that's the only two at the moment we can. Uh, we could also put eggs and, uh, and cheese together. In theory. I think we should do that. Yeah, get it, get it right from the start. Okay, so let's buy oil. And it's gonna take a while, but we're gonna move the tea also. Wait a minute. Okay, let's buy whatever's under 20. Nothing's under 20. So we need to get cheese also and eggs together, underneath each other. So we reach level 9 now, so if I go to the training, you can see you can actually... Oh, it has to reach max level here first. And then we get him out of rookie, we can get him to metal. Uh, which might be a little overkill right now, because we barely have a queue. And we'll save money if we don't do it. But the cool thing is the experience saves. So even if I don't buy it right now, and I buy it within like, I don't know, let's say only at level, of, like store level 15, uh, this guy, if I buy his stuff, it will, it will almost immediately skip the whole metal. Um, so it's not like we lose experience for not doing it. It looks like also there's uh, full support now for controller.
I'll just take it. See, now what I can do is I could remove all of this and I could make this one red. For if we do get a restocker, he will not place any eggs here. Why does it say we have so much water, bro? Oh my god. Could you hear? Uh, because we had water outside? Not buying double of anything. Dude, we're still getting people in. We're still getting people in? Bro, we're closed, dude. Dude, we just made someone walk away. Oh no, she purchased, never mind. I'm not gonna get a bad review for not having pasta. Fuck that. Okay, we're gonna end the day here. And we're open. So our money is looking good though, but we do have a problem. We need more racks. We need to buy two more tall racks, I think. Wow, dude. It's a thousand dollars. Okay, well only no no, it's it's two fifty each. Okay, stock take again. Under twenty. Hmm.
I might actually want to remove that water also. I'll just put eggs there. So it will be oh, like almost the whole thing eggs, except for the top. See, he's, uh, he's getting the experience, though, after 300. So it stores for whenever I, um, for whenever I purchase it. And let's do it, dude. Looks like the queue is becoming longer. So I pay $100, and then his wage will increase, um, but the daily wage will increase to 100. So if I say no, let's just have a look. How much is his daily wage now? Daily wage is $80, so he gets paid $20 more per day. So, rookie is done, now he's middle. So now I pay him $20 more per day. Wow, dude. So much stock taking. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, we're gonna put eggs also up there. So it's three racks, uh, three racks cheese, and you can see at the bottom is two racks. So we'll make it three racks also uh, eggs. Eighty dollars per day to to hundred. That's a twenty dollar increase per day. Like, how much of a percentage increase is that?
Dude, people are still coming in. Level 13. Two more levels to go, dude. This is roughly how fast self-checkout was. In the previous update. Products found expensive. Well, I mean, it's your problem. Get a better job, Mabri. It will just instantly open. I thought we had oil. I'm really not looking forward to the update where products is going to go bad. Hey. Two more levels, bro. Yeah, I just want to get to end game, and then uh, we'll maybe make a video for every update that comes out as well after we reach end game. What we can do is we could just like give ourselves almost infinite money to just buy our way back to where we were. It's also not a bad idea. But it's okay, bro. I will survive. 
Yeah. I mean, I think this is signs of uh, uh, the shop being poor. That your racks is never like stocked full. But only like 80%. Maybe even less. I mean, look at the sugar. It's not even two full racks. My goodness, you're tall. What the heck? Only a woman out there that wants a guy that can reach the, the highest racks. <laughs> Are we going to reach level 15 within this, uh, this video? This probably. Most probably, I, I would say. It's going to be close. It might not be a, a, a day of gameplay, but we should reach it. Okay, we'll end the day. We instantly open. Da, 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 da. You can also afford the next uh, product license. I think. But that does that necessarily doesn't mean we have to get the next power license just yet. Cause I feel like uh, it's a lot of running around already for me to do. Adding more products will just add to the running. 
And this guy is about to reach level 13 also. He's halfway to it. Um, so he's going to out-level our store level, which is going to be great. I don't know what the highest level still is, man. All I know is he's definitely worth $100 a day at this speed. I mean, level 15, we could uh, just start pumping up. Buying only at 20 thing actually works really nice. Very, very nice. And I mean, at three uh, products, uh, we get a scanner. And I, I honestly think this tablet thing is useless. A lot of people making videos like, oh, it's so good. How is it good? No. The only good update here is the fact that you can see the numbers on your cells. But not even that is good because like it, it calculates in everything. Stuff in boxes. Uh, stuff in your storage room and stuff that's on the shelves itself. So the update, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence of it. I don't think it's a good update. I think it could have been better. The only thing that is good is the fact that the cashier, when he is doing his job, it counts towards you doing it. <gasps> no, where's my mouse? Oh. Okay, I think I just lost some money there, but it's okay. I accidentally fired him. So you can see over there, it says there, uh, complete checkout 400 out of 400. So, at level 20, we can already just get the next uh, cashier. Uh, if that's ever needed, I will do it, but I, I don't know. We'll see. Luckily, he kept his level, imagine, dude. I'll be fucking uninstalling instantly. I mean, it's a, it's just a joke, chill. You need some milk. So they want us to buy the next section. That's our quest right now. If the quest was paying money, I would have done it, but it doesn't pay. It's just, you know, here's the quest. This is what we recommend doing. A, a good update, in my opinion, would be... Um, if he's stuck with something in his hands, you can take it from him. That could also be really good. You, know, you could just take the item from his hands. That could be a good update. Um, what else could be good? Uh, the pricing system is decent, but I think it could be so much better. 
Because I have to click on last change like three times in order for it to work. Uh, it's it's a hassle. Every time you have to do that and then you have to type in the number. I, I feel like there should just be a, a tab that's like next next to category. Uh, set all market price. Um, I, I think that is needed. Uh, that would be a good update. Um, and then... Uh, like, I don't know if they need to build this in, but like, even... Dude, I'm level 10, right? And the first cashier you get, the queue is already full. That just means the cashiers are so shit in this game. So... Either they need to buff the cashiers, or they have to have this kind of system in it, where the more you do something, the better you get at it. Because that's just realism as well. You know, a system like this would be good. And it's going to be quite a bit of programming uh, for the game developer to do it, but... I honestly think it's going to be game-changing if, th if they do. Because at the moment, like, cashiers is just so bad, bro. They can even work with the person that made them out and just pay them, like, a, I don't know, a hundred dollars or something. I don't know. Alright, let's end the day. Prices change again, we open up immediately. Uh, we're, we're just farming level 15 right now. The fastest way possible. Feels like we're leveling up so slow, bro. Like, what the heck? More sugar, my bri. Like I said before, I played uh, the Internet Cafe Supermarket Simulator, right? Internet Cafe Supermarket Simulator. It's it's both all together. And that game has some really cool things that I, I, I wish was in this game. For example, restocking, I click on the shelf and it, everything that's in storage, you could just like press buttons and uh, it will restock it immediately. It's a pretty cool way of doing it, actually. Um, 
Uh, the cash cashier. Uh, it's also pretty cool. There's like a block. You could just have to hold the item over the block for a few seconds and then it scans it. Uh, but you don't have to deal with money. Like, they automatically pay the exact amount. Um, and then you get like uh, skill points that you can spend. And you can make your checkouts faster. Or your scanning faster. So you have to hold it for less on the square for it to, like, pop. It's pretty cool, man. Also, you can get infinite employees. You can get a house. You can buy a house. Which is pretty awesome. So many cool things in that game. But we'll see how good video one does, because if it doesn't do too well, I'm not going to get too deep into it. Because at the end of the day, you guys decide what I play, right? The more you watch and support a specific content on the channel, the more of it I do. It's just when it comes to this game, I just want to like finish it. Uh, I want to get to end game. Because I feel like this game is huge. It's way bigger than... In my opinion, it should be. Because the game itself is trash. But the mods make it so fun. Like I said, if, if, if it wasn't for mods, I would have quit this game a long time ago. Wait, he's buying two waters. There's tall guy again. Dude, he's so much taller than everyone else. And the game is not trash, it's just it's just mediocre when it comes to the game. Like the physical game. Wait, I'm buying cheese again. Someone is buying all the cheese, dude. Uh, let's just clear. So you can redo it. Things I'll do to you, girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some juicy pixel she got there. That gets my juices flowing. Hey, girl. Come on, level 15, bro. Seriously. 
Wado Heko. Wado Heko. Do we... Yeah, let's get the next part of license, too. Peanut butter, flour. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do it. That's fine. Um. Okay, let's order all of them. Flour, olive oil, salt, rice. So everything is shelf. Everything. Uh, I think one shelf should be enough, but we'll see. Needs to be full. Okay, it looks like we need another one. Yeah, we'll need another shelf. Um, just trying to think. <laughs> yeah, let's get another shelf. It's fine. get another small product eventually that will be with that So rice and pasta normally sells like freaking cake in this game, dude. But cake doesn't sell too good in this game. <laughs> so forget what I said.
And I might want to get a, a slot for everything. Because we only have for the first one. Well, it's empty. Almost level 15, guys. Almost. We were spit away. The products that I normally find expensive is um, stuff like water, that's like really cheap. So some days it is expensive. It depends on like the price it falls on. Level 15, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Level f we're also store level 15. Uh, let's do it. Management. Okay, let's uh let's see if this works. We buy one of each and place delivery in storage. It didn't. No. Don't pick up a box. So now we have to figure out what did he pick up? What box did he pick up?
So what are we looking for first? Coffee. Okay, there's coffee. Uh, tea. There's tea. I don't know, we'll see what goes low, dude. Whatever goes low, we know that it doesn't auto-buy. Wait, there's another one outside. Wait, isn't... Ah, is it water, maybe? No, there's water, man. Uh, we'll see whatever lays outside. <laughs> dude, the storage is so packed. We're using literally every inch we can, dude. Hey, we're gonna have one day with our new worker. That's great. So the items that was purchased got racked, so that means nothing yet. He's level 2 already, bro. He's walking so slow. He's, he's slower now than he would be if you don't use the mod. I think level 9-ish is the same speed. So you just need to keep an eye on whatever is like very low. Pasta? Let's see pasta. There it is, pasta. What else is decently low? It's the one box he grabbed, dude. That's the one thing we need to figure out. Rice? Oh, there's rice. Oh, it's going to represent itself soon. Whoa. Could be peanut butter. Nope. Bread? I mean, bread is the first one. It has to be the next two product license. It has to be from here on forward. Eggs, milk. There's milk. Wait, we don't have eggs here. Yeah, it looks like we don't have eggs. Yeah, I don't think we have eggs. Yeah, you see, it laid outside. Nice, dude. So now we have all on auto purchase. And uh, we can just be AFK. The game is playing itself. Our dude is level 3 already. Good stuff, good stuff. Obviously, we want this door to be upgraded because that's gonna make the pathing shorter. And there's still like boxes outside that we'll have to use uh, whenever it auto purchases. 
Uh, because we need to double rack. We can't single rack, we double rack. Because later he's gonna pick up multiple boxes. So I want to... I want to double rack everything. Except for the small boxes, except for like salt. Because you can put like five boxes, six boxes, uh, you know, inside one rack. Same with um, peanut butter, honey, uh, oil, uh, tea. Where other things like, you know, a toilet paper, uh, it's going to be a problem. Goodness, my bro. You bought the shop, huh? So every time we see a box outside, we just have to rack it. It's just so that glitches later won't happen. Purchase a new section? Yeah, we most probably we will have to. Sooner than later. Hey, no box outside. It's because he's carrying a double rack box or... But yeah, now we'll see, man. The ball is starting to roll and we got everything under control. <laughs> we nailed it, dude. You like what you see. Almost level four, huh? The other dude's not level sixteen. Yeah, we can't buy the third product license. We'll have to make it bigger first. I mean, we can put racks in the middle here, actually. But... Yeah. That's about four racks here. Right, two on each side. Uh, two besides each other. And we can maybe squeeze in a rack there also. We'll see. As long as no boxes is outside, we know that we're doing a good job. Uh, also, we have a problem, though. I can't buy the next product license. Um, we just don't have shelf space. So, we'll get more. We'll have to get... We'll have to upgrade both sides, and that's going to be a lot of money. So let me just make double sure we're double purchasing. We are, okay. Because that's how I said it. It's because later they're going to pick up so many boxes at the same time that it glitches out and if you single purchase. Okay, we'll quickly do one more day. Because why not? We need a boatload of money in order to... In order to get the next product license. Well, we need to upgrade the storage area and shelves first. 
Because let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight open shelves. And depending on the size of the stuff we're getting. Apple juice, soda, orange juice, yeah. And it's 550 anyway. There's no way we can pay 550 and have everything racked and stored. Nope. We need at least, I would say. Sure. Okay, that. It's a tricky question. How much money do we need? Well, I think we need to upgrade both first, anyway. So the storage, that's $800 right there. Then we need to get racks inside here first. So I can just do it. We'll upgrade our storage. Wait, what? No! Did I up... Oh, what? What did I buy then? Dude, I upgraded... Oh. <laughs> it's behind there. Okay. Okay, what is gone? Oops. Oopsie, come on. So we can get two more here, I think. The, the main purpose or main goal of this is to never have a box outside. All boxes has to be inside when you when you buy them. For the glitch not to happen. So... Yeah, our cashier is out leveling um, our store level. Which actually does make sense. Okay, now we need to buy like two racks. We put it in here. We'll have to get this guy to stop working also. When whenever we are gonna upgrade. Like our racker, he needs to stop working then. And it's one more upgrade, then this door opens, so it's it's definitely worth it to to get this open first. To get him to walk less, you know? Because it's it's a pretty big distance. A trash can mover could also be pretty cool. So what do we have open? We have only literally a, a one freezer open. And everything is going to be, everything is going to be in coolers. So we don't have to upgrade our shop because um, we can get a lot of freezers in the middle. Freezers is smaller. They're not freezers. Uh, refrigerators. Fridges. There we go. Fridges. Is smaller than the racks. So I'm pretty sure we can put, you know... Two here facing different directions. So now the, the, the game is technically playing itself. So everything is automated finally. Now it's just about waiting for the profit to come in. There's a box outside. 
So it's still not 100%. I wonder when he's going to start carrying two boxes at a time. Capacity right now is 15 kilograms. Dexterity, I think that's your movement speed. But... Kilometers per hour is 6.2. I think, yeah, that has to be. So I don't know what dexterity is then. But you can still see like if I'm just holding W, I'm still like W is movement speeded at the very least. It looks like he's struggling, but he will catch up eventually once he gets to level. We could just upgrade him also. <laughs> Pay money for that? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Why? Because it looks like every patch your workers will restart. I don't know. I'm just taking a rough guess. Really? How much are we buying here? Four products, that's fine. It will start the next day, but uh, we're going to actually end this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.